Islam, peace and love, family. Uh, just want to go in really quick today um, on the topic. I've been getting a lot of requests on uh, a lot of our brothers that are of the Hebrew Israelite persuasion, or uh, you could say the uh, Hebrew more of a uh, faith and Israelite more of the nationality. You know, uh, I don't want to butcher that for. The more is to get real technical, you know, on that end. And, um, you know, I definitely welcome all of our brothers. So, you know, they've been asking a lot about this because they come for status correction and nationality cards as well. And uh, we do some custom ones for certain ones, uh, you know, certain groups out there. I'm not going to put anybody's name out there off top. But, you know, I definitely want to show status and how... You know, they relate to us. Now, uh, the source here I'm coming from just uh, with the definition, you know, to get us started or the uh, capitulation, uh, which is just um, right here stating in history of uh, international law and treaties, you know, treaty law, which is mainly what we go by, uh, whereby one state permitted another to exercise extraterritorial jurisdiction over its own nationals within the former state's bo um, boundaries. So, you know, that's just showing how, um, you know, Moors have their status or jurisdiction within any boundaries that, that we're in, I would say, because that is how Empires work, you know, back uh, during the Roman times, you know, you could have been in England, but you would still be a Roman citizen um, because you were part of the empire. So, you know, as being part of the Moorish Empire, you know, that's just, you know, how it's worked with us for years. And um, I want to go in, you know, on the same topic and... Uh, it's talking about North Africa, and this is um, JewishVirtualLibrary.com uh, slash capitulations. Um, if anybody wants to go in and read the entire story, because I'm not going to go in on everything on it, but uh, just starting off um, in this section, talking about North Africa, uh, the Ottoman provinces uh, going into them, as well as Morocco, it uh, states, which is not under the Ottoman dominion. You know, just showing that um, Morocco, you know, was on its own, but uh, we were still part of the same um, governing uh, empire, I'll say, you know. But, you know, we had our own powerhouse in Morocco at the time. And, um, you know, I want to skip down, you know. And uh, this little arrow right here on, on the left, I can't get rid of. Uh, but I'm going to start right here. At the close of the reign of Hamuda Bay, which is a bay, you know, North Africa, 1782 through 1814. Uh, Jen reacted favorably toward Jews of uh, Tunis. Tunis is another North African country, if y'all don't know. Uh, related problems arose over the... Uh, incident of cap uh, capitulations turns for Jews. Uh, he refused to confirm. Excuse me. Uh, the the incidents of capitulations. Oh no, he of of, of Tuscan Jews. Excuse me, uh, who was settled in Tunis as a French protege, and who demanded this registration in the court in accordance with the. Capitulation terms, basically uh, the terms of the treaty that, that uh, they had with the French, because at that time, um, you know, French were one of the European powers that that the Moors had, you know, these different treaty relations, and basically these North African Jews were trying to um, <laughs> claim treaty relations, you know, uh, as Frenchmen, <laughs> but. You know, it didn't go like that. Uh, the, the ruler argued that the Jews were stateless and had no rights of citizenship, meaning German citizenship, 
Um, he therefore prohibited the Jews, the Grunum, uh, who came from Leghorn several generations uh, before to wear a French emblem on their clothing. He claimed that these Jews were his subjects, I'm talking about these African Jews, uh, and their status was not comparable to that of French. Um, and Article 4 of the Capitulations Treaty concluded between France and Tunis in 1824. Uh, it was stipulated that non-French Christians who exported goods from, from France to Tunis could not benefit from the 3% customs privilege uh, which the French were entitled, blah, blah, blah. Ba basically, um, he, he, he claimed them saying, you know, that, that the little trinkets that they were trying to get, trying to claim uh, some French status were, didn't apply to them, that, that you know, he, he came under their jurisdiction. And, um, you know, this is just, you know, a bay, a Moorish leader, you know, looking out for Moors, you know, or looking out for Moorish Jews or Moorish Israelites, you know. Yeah, and this kind of stuff is well documented. Uh, comes in. This is 1824 treaty. If, if anyone wants to check this out, and um, that is a very important time actually because it's right in between the original uh, treaty of peace and friendship uh, and the renewal of it. Or well, this is ten years actually before uh, the renewal in 1834. So. At that time, the Hebrew or Israelites um, that were Moorish, Black, African, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, is documented that they were actually under the Moorish Empire at that time, you know. And, you know, this is something that lots of people, you know, have, have, have documented, but I just like to get it out there for all of our people that, you know, may have never seen this information. And, you know, there's definitely plenty more, you know, that y'all could read on this story if you can see. Oops, I went way, way far. But, uh, you know, talking about diplomatic relations between Moors um, and uh, what they're calling black Jews. You can see another beige name right here. So, you know, this is all right up in the same area. In, in same time period, just to let everybody know that, you know, these Moors, Hebrews, Jews, whatever you want to call them, we're all the same people. We're all part of the Moorish Empire. And, and, you know, we all actually share the same status as well. So, you know, this Moorish status, you know, it doesn't just apply to people that are of necessarily a Moorish or Islamic faith. You know, you can be of other faiths as well, you know, but you're still our people. You know, we all the same people, you know, regardless of what your faith is. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, people. Peace and love.